Yeah, in this video, I want to talk about the concept of the bad opposite. So there's a difference between a good opposite and a bad opposite. So normally, you know, you think, okay, so what is the complete opposite of what I'm doing right now? There's good form and bad form. Very, very basic concept, very basic example that I started out with is for a neck, right? Our neck is very forward. Neck is very forward. So if you try to do the what normal mistake I I've mentioned this a couple times is you try to look back but all you're doing is just a one disc is you're pressing one disc one disc that gets really hurt and you do right and left so you're basically you have a forward neck and you look back and that is not right that is extreme example but the idea is to have to lengthen your neck is to actually have a bubble goose like this so that's good good opposite this is bad opposite okay so it's just the idea is not to break it at one spot it's the complete opposite so you have to keep good form in mind another example is uh, the rounded shoulders so we have very rounded shoulders right and uh, our what I what I'm right now experimenting with right now is already telling me that you know if you just fix the rounded shoulders and pull your shoulder back like a lot of people, okay, that is around. I didn't say I, last video I said it was fifty percent, but now I'm starting to think like sixty percent and forty percent. I'm the, uh, the uh, maybe a little off, okay, but it's like the concept is you have to fix the chest area first you know ours we have very kyphosis or inward rib cage rib rib cage like this right that adds to the rounded shoulders so first you have to get rid of this this thing push it out and then after that you fix the rounded shoulder so if but if some people with a kyphosis they just pull the rounded shoulders all the way back and then fix their their in um their inward rib cage it this it just totally screws it up because this is like 40 percent this is 60 percent and this goes into the one extreme and that's it's not good um another so this is the bad opposite so you have to actually think it's like a very complex puzzle because this is 40 percent this is 60 percent if this goes in an extreme and without fixing this it's really bad opposite Third example of a bad opposite is I know I have a, a very full roast. My pelvis rotates forward because of this, right? So I've been doing doing the opposite, doing the opposite, and all that stuff, and uh, trying to release the muscles on my upper pelvis. But it's a, I told you it's a system. So it's, there's two components with it. So if I release the muscles up here on the upper pelvis area without releasing the um i, I i've noticed without releasing my hamstring it, it it goes back in a second so i have to it's a it's a complex system if i release this without releasing my hamstring or so i have to release this and this at the same time so if i release one component Yes, it's better if you do something, you know, sit on a ball, it's convenient, but you have to do it at the almost similar time. So it's, you know, this, it's like a system. It's like a, uh, it's a puzzle. It's, eh. So it's, you have to release this and then strengthen this. And it, it, so we're still figuring it out, but there is a bad opposite and it can, maybe it might be subdivided into different categories and everything, but you know, it's a bad opposite. <laughs>